innovating to prevent contrail formation for a better environment. Contrails are formed by water, soot and cool air. When water vapour is ejected from the exhaust nozzle of an engine, it condenses and freezes around soot particles in the air, creating tiny ice crystals. These ice crystals create layers of cirrus clouds, which can stay there for prolonged periods. Contrails contribute to the greenhouse effect by creating a thermal blanket known as cirrus radiative forcing. During daytime, this cloud cover may have a cooling effect by blocking radiation from the sun. After 4 p.m., however, heat is trapped underneath this cloud layer, increasing the atmosphere's temperature. This only occurs around flight level 300 in winter and flight level 360 in summer, precisely within MUAC airspace. We can prevent the formation of contrails by avoiding level flights through ice supersaturated regions after 4 p.m. This is what the MUAC Control Prevention Project, starting in January 2021, aims to do. We need you on board our journey to reduce aviation's impact on global warming and climate change. How does it work? First, we verify whether the meteorological conditions are prevalent for contrail creation by analysing satellite data. Based on this and on traffic predictions, the MUAC duty supervisor will decide whether or not to give the go-ahead for contrail prevention activities. We will start contrail prevention at 4pm local time and continue during the night until 6am. Traffic permitting, flights planned to cruise at affected levels will be reduced to the absolute minimum. ABC 123 for Contrail Avoidance Climb Flight Level 370. Roger, Climbing Flight Level 370, ABC 123. MUAC controllers will aim to offer the next most effective level available to pilots with respect to fuel consumption. Climbs and descents through affected levels are accepted if necessary. All levels can be used for safety reasons. Our partner in the trial, the German Aerospace Centre, will validate climate change algorithms based on satellite images. Be part of the world's first control prevention project. Every clearance counts.